After passing all the steps, we are now here on WBS. Do you remember our example traveling from England to Switzerland? For achieving Switzerland as a goal, we must pass from countries and cities. Countries and cities were our WBS. In fact, WBS or Work Breakdown Structure is a list of every activities in a project that needs to be completed to reach a specific outcome or goal. The way to divide large projects in order to accomplish works faster and efficiently called WBS. WBS does not contain any date in P6. You cannot manipulate it, just you can create it. It gets the date from its activities. So, a WBS without an activity is nothing. This is the model of what is going to be constructed and we need to schedule it. This is our famous duplex building. When I rotate my model, you can see the foundation. Here is the basement. This is the first floor with terraces, with doors, floors, walls, windows, balustrades. You can see the top, which contains roof. Okay, from this model, you can see the logic relationship between construction. Without foundation, we cannot start the walls. After building the wall, we can install windows. Okay, let's come to our plan. This column is our WBS, which we are going to perform it in Primavera. If you wonder how to get this information in a project, you can refer to our own section from this tutorial. Here, you see milestones. We call the big goals in a project as a milestone. It is zero duration. Let's back to our example from England to Switzerland. You are driving on a road. You say, after a hundred miles, I will rest. When you reach a hundred miles, actually you reach your milestone. Or you can set goals. At the first station, I will rest. This first station is your milestone. Actually, milestone is passing a certain point. Let's go to the plan. We have activities in Milestone WBS, but I will talk about it in the next. We have structural works, masonry works, roof, terraces, facade, under facade, we have external doors and windows, and so on. Now, let's transfer to Primavera to implement all these WBSs there. This is WBS icon. I click on WBS. As you know, when we wanted to create a new project, we clicked on this plus icon, or from keyboard, we tapped on insert. I click on this icon. This is our first WBS. You know, from our Excel file, the first WBS was Milestone. I don't write anything in WBS code. It is automatically filled. Here, I type Milestone. Simple. It is created. So, the next one is Structural Works. I press on Insert. WBS name is Structural Work. Just one note is here. As you see, Structural Works is under Milestone, but in Excel it wasn't. These two WBSs were independent. So I select Structural Works. With help of these direction buttons, I change its direction. You see now, it is independent. Masonry Works is our third WBS. Before creating any WBS, I select project name and press insert from keyboard. You see, this WBS is not under another WBS. 
it is separate and independent from its birth. So, if I select one WBS and insert another, the new one is under the selected WBS, whereas by selecting the project, the new one is free. Okay, this is amazing reworks, I write it. Another is roof. Then terraces. Okay, here I have facade. On the facade, I have external doors and windows. I create facade now. For creating external doors and windows, under facade, I select facade, tap on insert on keyboard, and I write. So it is under facade. If it hadn't been, I could have used these direction buttons. Later, I will bring all these WBSs into Primavera. As a practice, you can also write them in P6. After all, press 5 for refreshing. I go to Activities window. You can see the WBSs. Till now, we have just modified WBS. You see the colors here. The appearance is changeable. I right click and select Groove and Sort. You see the color of the WBS level 1 is Azure. For changing the color and font, double click on it. So you can change the font. The font color, size, style. And also, it is possible to change the row color. You can see WBS level 1 appearance is changed. If you have changed and you don't like, press default. Now, if I press apply, you see what will happen. I press apply. Oh, there are WBSs. Don't worry. Come to group by and click on it. From drop down menu, select WBS. Now I press on apply. Also, from table font and row, you can change table color and font, the row height, and so on. That's it. Don't forget to bring all WBSs into Primavera.